big i p f i a s m or waf this is one of the intelligence model from uh, big i p family as you know there are um, different types of models available from uh, available in f i as like l t m g t m a s m a p m and so on right each model uh, has its own intelligence and it's designed for a particular uh, requirement so as like the same asm is an one of the intelligence model from uh, big ip family and it's mainly designed for application security okay it mainly designed for application security and uh, it's used to mitigate applications uh, attacks okay so it's also referred as waf uh, known as web application firewall it mainly means this particular model mainly operates at layer 7 it's a layer 7 firewall okay that's the reason we are calling it as uh, waf a web application firewall or a layer 7 firewall so in this model uh, in this course we are going to learn about application security and uh, we are going to learn about different methods or all the types of uh, application attacks and we are going to perform all those attacks in our lab we are going to understand about those attacks in depth and we are going to uh, learn how to mitigate those attacks using fiasm model okay and we are going to learn about um, in depth we are going to learn about all the features available in asm model to mitigate application attacks so mainly this is for, for application security and attack mitigations So, so overview. Uh, as I said, ASM is a layer seven firewall, and it is certified by ICSA Lab, and uh, it 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 provides a comprehensive security to the application, irrespective of uh, the location it is hosted. It's like um, wherever it is, your application may be in the uh, you know traditional hardware in a data center, or it may be in a virtual virtual uh, VM. or even it's in some other cloud asm helps to provide it it provides the comprehensive security for those web applications okay and as like all other products of uh, big ip fi family its asm model is also built on tmos uh, commonly referred as traffic management operating system so it can operate on any of the fi platforms like uh, it can be uh, either your virtual machine or it can um, run on uh, any physical hardware appliance and even uh, it runs on the vpn chassis and uh, it it protects your application from the network attacks including avap top 10 the most critical uh, web application security risks right and uh, uh, though your application is a dynamic uh, one it also provides a comprehensive security for it and one of the main advantage of uh, using asm is it can be uh, it can operate as a standalone or if we want we can integrate it with uh, other models of filtm dns uh, means gtm or apm as well means uh, uh, if you want to use only asm model from fi yes you can do it or already you have an ltm setup or a gtm setup or apm setup using fi and if you want to integrate it asm with it yes it is possible you can do it okay so it is the a leading layer 7 ddos defense mechanism okay it detects ddos and it it mitigates ddos it is the leading mechanism in the market next the question is <laughs> what is the need of layer 7 uh, web application firewall when we have a network firewall right so this is the basic question um, that arises when someone want to learn about waf we already have a firewall then what is the need of a waf the layer 7 firewall okay so the answer is the traditional network firewall works on only layer 3 and layer 4 it's specially designed uh, to block only the network attack it, it's not for the application attack so as it don't have a control on the layer 7 it it cannot prevent uh, the application attacks so that's the reason we are going for the web application firewall or the waf so basically your traditional firewall works on layer 3 or layer 4 only it, it works on ip address uh, source and destination ip address and um, the port number right so we'll be writing a permit rule or a dna rule based on a particular specific uh, source ip address or the destination ip address using a particular 
destination port number right so this is what we can do from the uh, traditional firewall so with this we cannot protect uh, any http or uh, any layer 7 attacks so that's the reason we are going for the WAF or the web application firewall or the layer 7 firewall okay so and asm is an uh, it's a it's an uh, proxy appliance and it's specially designed to analyze each and every http and https packet to protect the application behind it okay so these are the key features of asm okay asm comes along with uh, 3000 plus preloaded uh, attack signatures uh, we'll discuss about attack signatures and all in detail uh, but as an overview attack signature is a set of rules or, or a pattern that's used to, to identify attack signatures sequences okay so but uh, we'll discuss about in detail in our upcoming videos and uh, it offers various policy building features yes uh, we can build multiple kind of a policies as like if you want to build a comprehensive set of a policies yes you can if you want to build a very fundamental policies we can and if you want to build an automatic or a manual many many kind of a policies we can build it's completely flexible and efficient okay and uh, one of the good news is uh, good thing is this is the asm is the first waf uh, that allows to integrate with a external or a third party uh, vulnerability scanning tools uh, for building an effective security policy there are a lot of vulnerability scanning tools that's available in the market right basically these tools are used to, to uh, used in our network we'll be using those tools to scan our network and it will gives a detailed report as like what are the vulnerabilities that's available in our network current uh, system right so what we can do uh, the, the asm has a special uh, feature that it will integrate with that any uh, vulnerability scanning tool and it can build a policy based on the report that is generated by the vulnerability scanning tool say for example if we are using some uh, ibm uh, curator or whatever uh, the scanning tool it is okay so that particular scanning tool will scan your entire network and it will generate a vulnerability report right so asm will integrate with th that tool and uh, on seeing uh, the vulnerabilities that are available uh, that is uh, scanned from the network the asm will build a policy to mitigate it okay it, it will build an efficient security policy by integrating with that also that is also possible and uh, geolocations and ip address intelligence yes uh, say for example uh, you you want to block or you don't want uh, any request to come to your application from some xy country you can prevent it so that is what geolocation and ip address intelligence is you can block traffic based on particular geolocations particular country particular continent kind of a stuff if you want to block uh, users from particular uh, country uh, you, if you want to prevent uh, users uh, hitting to your application from particular country yes you can block it this is called geolocations and it gives a learning suggestions uh, based on that learning suggestions you, we can build an effective policy security policy and uh, data guard uh, it's one of the uh, important features okay it's mainly used to, to prevent the sensitive data leak uh, as like say for example when i say sensitive data um, our credit card information social security number um, other number or whatever number it is uh, it, it's used to, to block or mask it it basically used to, to prevent those sensitive information leaks from that server as a response uh, one of the example for this is um, just consider that you are doing some um, online purchase and uh, you are doing it uh, or you already purchased something from that portal using your credit card okay so if your card information is already saved there in that particular portal uh, when you are purchasing any other uh, new product so when you proceed to pay it you'll be seeing that uh, already saved information right saved card informations so if you see that uh, you, if your credit card is a 16 digit number only f last four digit vis will be visible and uh, all the 12 digits first 12 digits will be masked right so this is a kind of uh, example for a data card right it, it mask it if in case uh, if it shows you the entire information it's not the secure thing right so it prevents the sensitive information leak 
from the server response and uh, as we discussed it prevents from our web's top 10 uh, the most web critical application risk and uh, it prevents from ddos uh, distributed in of service attacks and it it uh, it gives a bot defense as well so bot uh, is a kind of a robo or uh, it's it's a small piece of an uh, uh, application or program it's designed in such a way to uh, repeatedly um, it, it works repeated uh, in the repetitive sequence right automatically so in some cases this uh, have seen in some cases bots are uh, used to you know uh, degrade the performance of the server okay what they'll use to do they'll create a bot okay it will keep on generate a request to particular web application and it will degrade the performance of that particular uh, applications so those kind of attacks can be prevented and uh, it can create an on-demand report a detailed analytic report okay so these are some of the sample attacks that can be prevented by using ASM model. So the first one is AWAP's top 10. Uh, so all the main top 10 vulnerabilities can be mitigated using uh, our ASM model. Then layer 7 DOS, the DDoS attacks can be prevented. Brute force attacks can be prevented. Though brute force is one of the old method, still it's mainly used by, it's used by many, uh, you know, hackers. So brute force is something like, uh, you know, though we'll be uh, discussing about each attack in detail, just as an overview, brute force is a method uh, when a hacker, uh, you know, he keep on trying with some random uh, passwords, okay, usual uh, random passwords, predictable passwords. So this is what um, brute force attack is and web scrapping attack malicious bot traffic sql injection attacks can be prevented sql injection is um, hacker will use sql command uh, to compromise the server to compromise the applications okay this those kind of stuff can be prevented and um, cross-site scripting can be prevented to prevent fraudulent transactions and um, unauthorized changes to the server's content sometimes um, there are many kind of attacks where uh, hackers can compromise the server and they can change the contents in the server so those kind of steps can be uh, mitigated and uh, so attacks aimed at causing the web application to be unavailable and slow means uh, any attack that uh, cause the application server to degrade its performance right those kind of attacks can be mitigated and the manipulation of our cookies or the hidden fields can be mitigated and um, unknown threats or any zero day attack threats can be mitigated and as we said uh, as we discussed about uh, geolocations this is also can be done from asm it's not only limited to this this is some of the key or a sample attacks that can be mitigated using the ASM or the web application firewall.